Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about The Devil Inside, the 2012 film. And it's only taken me this long to get around to seeing it. When I first saw the trailers, um, we're talking when I went to see Wanderlust, so, you know, February, March. I thought that looks fantastic. It's not very often that I will want to go and see a thriller in the cinema because as, w as much as I enjoy them, not many of them draw me in. But this I really wanted to see, but for whatever reason I didn't. And I've now watched it and I can say it probably wasn't worth the wait. There are a lot of aspects about it which I was very disappointed by. One or two things I did like, but generally speaking I wasn't that impressed. Isabella is making a documentary um, about exorcism and her mother to find out why her mother murdered three people. Her mother murdered three people while they were while they were conducting an exorcism on her and her mother was now in an institute in Italy. Isabella goes to Italy and she you know tries to film her mother and she tries to find information from her mother and she films various exorcisms, she goes to classes, she tries to learn more about it and I guess technically I imagine the point was as she learns about exorcism or discovers other people's opinions we are supposed to be on this journey with her discovering other people's opinions and angles and more learning more about exorcism and um, possession and um, you know demonic elements and things like that. Now as a, as a spiritualist my opinion on the dark side of the paranormal is very kind of I, I love it, I love learning about it but part of me is like that's not how that happens so, but I'm not going to put too much of my own religious opinion into this but more just judge it as a, as a film but just thought I should tell you that so you know where my views are coming from um, yeah the fact, the first thing I want to point out is the directing is both really good and crap um, directed by William Brent Bell, looked on his IMDb page, not seen anything he's done don't have any interest in it um, the directing of the scenes that involve possession and quite quite scary exorcisms and I'll be honest it's a thriller but the only scary parts, and I say scary lightly, it wasn't really that scary, are the exorcism scenes. And there's not that many of them. The scenes in between the exorcisms are really dry, really dull, really boring. So yes, while you're watching one of the exorcisms or one of the possession parts, you are thinking, well, this is a good film. Two seconds later, it's like, what? This is rubbish. So the directing during some of the more intense scenes is good. You know, the close-ups, the angles the cameras are at they're very good but for the most part it's really uncomfortable to watch a lot of it is filmed documentary style you know as if it is a handheld camera um, you know kind of your shaky cam going on there to give the feel of a documentary and a lot of films do that but they don't do it to the extent that this does it's, it's overdone perhaps it was with the intention to reinforce that it is being filmed for a documentary you know to kind of reinforce the plot but it's really uncomfortable to watch because it is, you know, really jaggedy movements, as you would expect. But it's because it's done for a very large portion of the film, it's uncomfortable. It just feels like they can't hold a camera. Um, so I think that was overdone a little bit too much. Maybe if they toned it down a little bit, it wouldn't have been so bad. But I found that really uncomfortable to watch. Um, to be honest, the, the acting was alright. Um, there wasn't really anybody or any particular moment which made me go absolutely phenomenal acting, Oscar Oscar award winning, you know. It was alright, it wasn't bad. Uh, the script is, again, alright. Nothing amazing, nothing fantastic, but I wasn't left thinking that word shouldn't have been in there or they should have said something a bit different. It was fine. Um, so it's really awkward, left me in a really awkward position. There were a couple of moments, as I said, the exorcisms and the possessions, which were good. But there was not enough of them for my liking. The gaps in between were not that good. While it flowed coherently in the sense that I was never left really thinking, I have no idea how we got there, I was left thinking, have we really really just wasted five minutes getting to this point? So it's all right. Um, yeah, if you have nothing to do and you have a spare hour and uh, 25 minutes, I think it was, and you're 15 or over, I have to point that out, it is a 15 then shove it on in the background but you know don't sit down with your popcorn and turn off the lights and well maybe you should lock the door but you know what I mean don't get too excited don't go and rush out to buy it it's not worth it I'm pleased I didn't go and see it in the cinema because it would have been a complete disappointment however having said that maybe in the cinema I would have liked it a bit better because of the atmosphere but really I wasn't that scared I don't think they portrayed it in the right way the directing could have been better so it's not it's not a bad film it's just it's not a good film. 
Let me know your thoughts on the devil inside. Um, a couple of people on Twitter did say it's really rubbish. Some people said it's really good. So it's, at least there's a mixed audience there for it. So it's not a complete flop. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you all next time. Bye.